Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hello everyone, it's Test Tube and I'm here with OJ. That's right folks, it's game time. We are in round two, ready to start things off. As right now, you already seen the first preview look of the first game of the second round as the Maple Leafs already face against the Boston Bruins on the other side. But now, the second round is on. The Tampa Bay Lightning's destroy the New York Rangers. And they're moving on to the second round here at Carolina to face against the Hurricanes. Now, this is the next matchup that we're about to be seeing right in between of those two. Right now, let's have a look at the superstar X Factor from each players. Starting off with one of our best, as we go to the Carolina Hurricanes, Sebastian Ajo has a four liability. He is for Hector Hill Passer. He does more what it takes to take it all clear down and have an angle. Then Jacob Slavin with his shutdown ability. Great rushing defender also brings in a better playing offense. And finally is Andre Svechikov. With his skill up challenge, he can play a lacrosse move up and over the net or right to the side of the net. It's one of them in between, but does have it all. And now, your visiting team for the Tampa Bay Lightnings. As we have across here is Nikita Kucherov with a tape-to-tape -tape zone ability. The early passing within the vision. Start things off here with a better look at the pass angle, open look, and taking from here. Victor Hedman with a stick em up ability has a great defensive, defensive stick work where he has making a lot of his better technique of his effort skill. He can try to take the puck over or take down with the man by him. Then, Andre Vasilevsky has a controlsterness on his Illy Wild saves. I'm pretty sure he's a great guy, but let's find out if he does more to take his effort ability around for his angle. All for his saving and better technique. Braden Point, with a close corners in between, and Illy in a close shooting range, has a better technique of his ultimate corners in between by first through third, and sometimes in overtime period, does have it all. But it's not for shootout, it's only for the playoff game. And finally, Steven Stamkos. One-time Ely one-timers are great. Even enough, of course, for one-time goal effort, a tic-tac-toe moment, or just assist to put in a great timing effort. Well, that's it for now for the starting lineups in between the X-Factor players. Now it's time to send you down to Carolina at PNC Arena. Standing by, I have is James Cerbowski. He's along with Cheryl and Car Andre standing by in the center ice. We'll be back with the post-game show right after this game. Now, let's get moving. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy the game, folks. Round two begins now. Got it along the boards. The boards 
Jarvis with the goal of the power from the playoffs, just to buy a patch. And Kuchikov, 354 in the first period of the playoffs.
to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time? You want to take space? Well, Dinger does it. Makes the save. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it on that. What an opportunity! Just climbed over the net there. I thought it was him. Well, I thought it was him as well, James. Now he Two minutes for interference. That's two minute interference for the Lightning. Ready to interfere number 91. Time of penalty 12.25 in the first period. For you. Yeah. 
Tampa Bay trying to draw an LFC to make a new one. Shuts him down. As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. It makes your life so much easier.
Tampa Bay Gold is first sold of Bayoff Store by number 20, Nick Paul. The first assistant here by number 91, Steven Sampras. And by number 20, Dan Radius. Tell me about 14 for the three remaining in the first period. And that's Nick Paul with the goal, assisted by Steven Sampras and Dan Radius. 14 for the three in the first of the playoffs. Carolina Hurricanes family, two minutes for slashing. Carolina penalty, two minutes for slashing set charge number 24. Time of penalty, 253 remaining in the first. That's two minutes slashing for set charge number 24. Time of penalty, 253 for the Tampa Bay Power Play. First goal in the playoffs on the power play score, scored by number 41, Mitchell Chaffee. He is consistent here by number 20, Dick Paul, and by number 86, David Eisenmount. Time of the goal, 18.43 seconds in the first period. That's Mitchell Chaffee, assisted by Dick Paul and Eisenmount, 18.43. On a power play goal for Tampa Bay in the first period of the playoffs. Last minute remaining in the first period. Tampa Bay's game possession along the boards. Moves 
The Hurricanes take possession here in the open ice. A grab by Svechnikov. That's the end of our first period. Carolina Hurricanes with two. And Tampa Bay Lightning's two. A chance for both teams to refuel. They're back on the ice. And period number two is about set to go. You can tell the rooms are a good one because almost every fan is in their seats here. And here's still time with the second half of the way. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game to the first 20 minutes played? in this game. They've been on their heels and really their opponent is taking it to them. The goaltender has been strong and it's a reason that this game is still tied. Oh my goodness, what a move! Carolina's got it against the boards. Fires it! Oh, it stays out! He got a piece of that one! Still plenty of time left in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Tampa Bay is going to start with the puck in their own end. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. The Hurricanes have it now. Moves it to Burns. The Hurricanes move the puck in the defensive zone. Svechnikov picking up momentum through center. Good battle along the boards for the puck. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Hooked away at center by Carolina. Carolina's going to hold it against the wall. Here they come. Tampa Bay's got the puck. Through center along the wing. Steven Sankos and Ben Radius, 227 in the second period of the playoffs.
now. Long reach breaks up the momentum. 
19 in the second period of the playoffs. Here in the later 
stages of this period. It's a one-goal game at this point. 4-3 is the score. Offense is on base off and it's the draw. remaining in the second period. That's Brandon Hagel's goal along with Luke Siskin by Victor Pippen and Braden Point, 1836 remaining in the second of the playoffs. Kings four. Along the board by Radish. 
The Hurricanes play along the boards. Takes a shot. Makes another save. Takes the pass. Picked up along the boards by Stankos. Carries the puck up through center. Moves it to Paul. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Sends the pass over. The Bolts take it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Hickman. Takes the shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Burns takes the puck. Carolina's through center in there on the offensive end. Great reach with the puck check. Slides it diagonally to Hickman. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. The Hurricanes have it from their own end. The Bolts have to go on the attack. The shooter's gonna come in spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Slavin's got that shutdown zone ability, which means he can defend one-on-one -on -one situations so well, guys. That's how he can break up his opponent's attacks. Tries into the crease! No room for that one to get through. Tampa Bay's looking to break out. Moves around along the half wall. The Hurricanes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Puts it over it, and he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Battle along the wall. And that's broken up by Slavin. Feeds the puck to Tara Biden. The Lightning have taken possession of their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Possession along the boards. Tara Biden's picking up steam.
The Hurricane Stones! Here's the score of the playoff score by number 58, Michael Fonte! This was the senior by number 87, Mari Natures! And by number 28, Joe Chapier! Time to go, 11 go to remaining in the second, in the third period. That's Michael Lane with the goal, assisted by Mario Natchez. And Jeremy Chatfield, 11 0 2 in the third in the playoffs. Double-day goal for his third goal of the playoffs, scored by number 20, Nick Falk. Unassisted on the game, time of the goal, 12 0 2 remaining in the third period. That's Nick Falk with the goal, with none assisted, 12 0 2 in the third period of the playoffs.
Tom Bay Ball, his first goal of the playoff score by number 71, Anthony Sorelli. His first assistant here by number 73, Victor Hedman. <laughs>
Turn away penalty, two minutes for trip for hoarding. Counter penalty, two one forty nine for a second remaining in the third period. That's two minute penalty for boarding, one forty seven for the Tampa Bay. Corey Cranes on power play. Last minute remaining in the third period. Time of a goal, the second goal of the playoff score by number 38, Brad Hagel. His first assistant here by number 73, Victor Edmonds. Time of a goal, 17 19 remaining in the third period. That's 30. Brandon Hagel with the goal, assisted by Victor Edmonds, 17 19 in the third. And now, with some probable matchups in between of the Hurricanes and the Lightnings, these two are the powerhouse storms that they've already been facing in between. But there's a lot stronger than that. I have to take over here with you, OJ. Who do you think will have a winning overtime? Well, my choice is going to be a little bit kind of going to be a little tricky to get this one backed up. So. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure that I think that might be a great look in between, so it's going to be really tight, and I don't know how this is going to happen. Tampa Bay Bolts are definitely the wild card team. They already made their way in. That was their first wild card they had definitely played in there since they were coming in all the way down here for the second, third scene of a team to face against the Toronto Maple Leafs. They played here for the last part of the season. But it looks like a Tampa Bay Lightning. I might be saying that it could be their win. And what about you or the other side there, Testu? Well, I guess that Carolina Hurricanes are definitely one of the power teams. I mean, well, hopefully in that occasion to leave, well, it might be what they want. Like, I, I'm not sure if it's going to happen like that. But hey, what's the worst case of a scenario? Who could never know what the figuration is? <laughs> well, there might be one choice out there, so we have to find out who can get the next win in there. Alright, so that's it for the probable matchups here for the prediction. Now let's get right back to James Zabrowski, as this overtime of the Stanley Cup class is brought to you by Adidas. We'll see you all later for the post-game show, after the last goal has made in between the both teams. 
All for you guys. The moment of truth has arrived. Overtime is set to go. The boys have done a solid job shorthanded to this point. Just a few seconds remain as they win the draw here over this period. And it was on the player in front. Here's a short pass to Jarvis. Picked up along the boards by Aho. Power play expires and what a blown opportunity here. expected. I mean, <laughs> really great goal, had chances. I mean, they're really doing really well. Now it's time for three-star plays of the game. That's right now. Third star, let's kick it off. Third star of the night goes to Brett Pass with a goal, three assists, and three hits. That second star goes to Seth Jarvis with two goals, one assist, and four hits. And then, you're winning a game in the first game of the night in OT, but Nick Paul had three goals, had one assist, and ten hits. That went excellent for him, and he had his hat trick with this goal. To have that one extended up, but it was not for long of the Hurricanes with the comeback release man. Alright, the years have been able to tell us the tick six. Right in between the 87 over 64 tall shots of goal for Carolina, then it was 86 over 62 for Tampa Bay, and it was 747 over 513 for Carolina. Then it was 96 over 90 percentage for Carolina on a passing percentage. 41 over 28 faceoff wins for Carolina, and it was two minute penalty kill for Carolina and a four minute penalty kill with Tampa Bay. Only one power play goal for Tampa Bay with 115 power play minutes, and no power play goal for the Carolina Hurricanes. So that's it for the first part of the game, I guess. Turned out great. 
fantastic finish for Andre Svechikov. It's excellent the man for win. And everybody's fair and it's been loving the powerhouse rumble down already in PNC Arena. We, they really loved it too. Yeah, it's been a great one here. And I hopefully so I will be able to see if there is another game happening here. It looks like this. <laughs> there might be a fan that may be loud enough in America. I mean, you may never know what happens. So yeah, I mean, hopefully or not, it'll be great. Can't tell right now. And that's going to wrap it up, folks. First game has been concluded. We'll stick you around for the second game as we got the Bruins and the Maple Leafs back at TD Garden Arena. That's where our next commentators will be, will be up there soon. And I'll have another takeover here ready for those two. We'll see you all again next time for the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. This is Testu and OJ. See you all later for the second game. Until then, bye-bye. Somebody will.